Elegant going up against Myron. I had the chance to talk to Elegant a little bit about this. He said he feels pretty comfortable with this. The main thing is just keeping his head clear. When Myron starts getting like a single edge on somebody, he can start tearing them apart, especially exactly. with his like aggressive momentum. If he can, but uh, Elegant feels like so long as he can keep his head clear uh, in those situations, he can stop that momentum from building up, stop the snowball, and keep the control against Olimar because he has experience against Olimar yeah, yeah. as a player. I mean, he already, he already has his face clear, so it's all about keeping his head clear. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right, he so looks so clean with that mustache. I'm just going to say that. Man, Lauren, Lauren told him to shave it. I know she did. I know she did. Anyways, let's get right into it. <laughs> already catching that Anna arrow with the up smash. Myron just holding on to center stage. Having a really strong lineup right now, a blue and a purple. And working on nearly death percent. Losing the blue is a bit of a big deal, though. But with the white gone, double purple. Oh, he caught him right before he had that second to start the tornado. That's Elegant's favorite landing option, too. And my, if Myron can always capitalize on that, he will catch Elegant faltering. It's got so, it has invincibility starting up so much sooner than a lot of players are ready to deal with. But yeah, Myron being able to get that force match out just in time. Okay, Elegant careful when he, on the landing here. I mentioned how that's his favorite landing option. It's it's incredible. You have to just fully respect it as a player. You, you're used to having that advantage and used to leveraging your frame advantage after like your your last hit in your combo string. Against Luigi, you have to you have to extend that a little bit further out though. Nice goes for the air. Good opportunity to read how Myron was gonna land. He overshot the ledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that, that was the trick. You want to land on the ledge, wake up against Luigi when he has that grab possibility and already extending be able to take that stock within like five seconds. Just like that's exactly what Elegant was talking about, right? Like if he loses the stock about Myron, keeping his head clear and knowing that he can manage to take it all the way back and be able to get that lead from that moment onward. And that's why you kind of see him do the classic elegant shake right before he starts the matchup. He wants to make sure all the frustration, the nerves are out of his body so he can have a clear mind in the game. I like the mix up there and he carries him off the top. Elegant with a brilliant finish from that platform. That sends such a strong message to start a set with that sort of play where you jab, jab into something completely not true. But you're essentially telling your opponent, by the way, I've fought dozens of people. <laughs> I know exactly what people who are scared in these situations yes. do, and I know how to kill them for trying to lean on these options. You oh, want dude. a shield <laughs> so you avoid the jab three of my follow-up? Fine, shield. I can kill you <laughs> off that. And like going into the rest of the game now, that puts that doubt in your opponent says like, wait a minute, but what if he has a kill set up <laughs> off of what I want to do in this right. situation? And it's kind of a damn if you do, damn if you don't, right? If you let go of shield, he probably he was more scared of the jab three. What, what, if, he didn't? He, what if he runs up, runs up, jump, super punches you, right? Yes. Like, <laughs> elegant would actually do that. Like we wouldn't be surprised to see him do that. It's it's scary stuff. That, like, to, to be able to have the confidence to do that game one and win game one off of that, that sends such a clear message. I mean, to be here, not, no game fives, game threes, this early in the tournament bracket, at, a, at such a tremendous tournament, a thousand entrants here at Congo Saga, it's going to be quite the scary situation for Myron going into game two. But so far, Myron has the lead in this game two. Mm -hmm. Already got 92% on Elegant, and we've seen him clean up stocks around here with a purple, and he's got a purple right there. Ooh. Looks for it in the up smash and gets the second one right afterwards. Not gonna waste his time. The game one, he did take that first stock similarly, really fast with that purple up smash. The matter is, can he keep control of this lead long enough to be able to close out this game two in his own favor? Right, that, that control is gonna be all that Myron needs to focus on here. For Elegant, it's how he could come back here. He's got My Myron at the ledge here, but Myron takes the opportunity to escape. Beautiful back air too on the way down from his up special. He gets himself a really nice lineup too, getting a purple, a blue, and a white. Some strong, solid damage and a wall with the double purple now that he pulled the second one. Elegant slowly moving in on Myron. He's closing this corner. Tries to come in with Uche and no dice here. Wants to go for that low recovery. He's got the wall set up. Waiting for Elegant to flinch. Elegant doesn't give in to the fear though. Nice. Myron tries to snipe Elegant on his way back up to the ledge, but Elegant willing to go into that cyclone. Again, that fast invincibility, being called, able to steer him to safety. And he called that out the first game here. I want to see how different Myron might be going for edge guards against Elegant. Now knowing that that is Elegant's prime choice of coming back on stage like so. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to have to see what Myron chooses to do about it. In the meantime, he's still got himself an entire stock lead at this point. Oh. Going to end up dying right there, but still 101% on Elegant. Gets himself another purple in his lineup and also has a blue for a, a grab kill confirmed too mm -hmm. later on. Especially with the percents climbing up so high and the Pikmin attached to Luigi. He nearly escapes the option here, but Myron will read for the jump out of the ledge. Mm -hmm. This is looking very good for Myron. 
going in and backing up, just focusing on tossing on uh, those extra couple Pikmin onto Elegant's face. Retreating back to the ledge and just keeping himself in that corner in the safety of where he can just pelt on those extra little servants onto Luigi's face. Here we go, getting a white onto so much damage on that. The thing is, if you want to avoid that white damage, you either have to throw an attack to hit the white because you're going to get a whiff punish for it, or you're forcing a shield, which you're going to get grab for it. It's exactly. such a scary place to be in. Take it. Yep. And even with the fact that Town and Sea has such a big ceiling, that tornado has quite the knockback. This is already putting Elegant back into the game. He's still at 108%. So Meyer can take this off this ledge for but Elegant sneaky pass with a roll. He's still caught off stage right afterwards. I mean, I hate to call it right. It's still even game, but Myron says, I don't want it to be even game. Let's go ahead and give me a point on the board here. Let's go to game three. Myron looking as good as ever. It, it's interesting because this is the event that also marks the one year anniversary of Smash Ultimate. Correct. And when Smash Ultimate started, Myron was one of the top names, right? Oh, yeah. We remember back to Frostbite. My Myron, CD. Yeah. Yeah, Wadi. There was like three top names that you kind of could see. Between, between Frostbite and I, I believe it was Pound. Yes. Myron getting second place at Pound, third place at Frostbite, two of the premier mm -hmm. events to start at Ultimate. This guy started on such a fantastic hook, and he's looking like a year later, hasn't lost a step. Man, we skipped a whole decade. We skipped just only a year. But let's yeah. get right into game three. But let's see if we can keep it up for that. Yeah, like you said, the game three. Looking to go to Pokemon Stadium 2 as Elegant's counter pick. An interesting choice against a zoner like Olimar who can build up that oh, stage. Oh, this is Death! Mark. This is Death! Beautiful start. The stage had nothing to do with it. No. That was just Elegant this is all carrying elegance. on that punish, on that roll wake up. It's his master plan. This is why he actually loves the stage. <laughs> oh, because of the, the slightly shorter ceiling? Yep. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know Mario's love for a similar reason. Yeah. Ele Elegant and Master Mario have the same thought process when going to the stage. Yeah. It's the lower ceiling. They're, they're brothers. Yeah. At the end of the day. But Myron not not looking shaken at all. He's like, you know what? My my spacing game plan worked beautifully game two. I'm going to stick to it. You happen to get in. Stop yes. one. But if I stick to my game plan, I can still take the entire set. Exactly. And the War of Attrition rages on for a character like Olimar. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elegant. Making sure that there's a little bit of damage here to be done on Myron. But he catches the jump in. Myron is not afraid to go for that. Up smash with an anti-air. He Ooh. knows Elegant wants to keep jumping in that way, with down air especially. Uh, uh, the four air in that case, yeah. Myron uh, trying to outspace that dash attack slightly too off. It's so hard to outpace those uh, burst options. But he's got that double purple. Once again, that wall ready to go. Good on Elliot to be able to get rid of one of the purples. But it still matters for him to build his touch ground if he's going to take advantage of that opening. Yeah, the Cyclone's still kind of worth going. He's still able to land with Myron that far. But he also gets rid of a few Pikmin on the way back to the stage. He got rid of all the Pikmin. This is actually huge for him. <laughs> yep. He can really lay oh. all that pressure there. And Myron hasn't, even, kill. Myron hasn't even touched the ground to pull a Pikmin yet. Yeah, no, this is huge. He only gets a single one. Finally gets himself another purple. But we uh, see how big of a difference, right? How much damage Myron took when he lost all three of his yes. Pikmin. Pretty much almost getting killed by that back if he held the wrong DI. There we go. Oh, the throw blue Pikmin. All right. We got Elegant on his last stock. Myron, though, not much more blood on his shoes. That ain't the right phrasing, but I don't care. <laughs> I mean, he's got blood on his he's got blood on his numbers there at 118, and Elegant smells that. His his minions at least have blood in their mouths. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Gonna get the dash yes. kill. Elegant at 70%. Myron is going to be able to get himself, a, yeah, purple in this next lineup. That's going to be in threat of killing very soon. Yes, and Myron's team has to remain the same, right? If you're going to whiff punish Luigi, get the higher percent here, and eventually pull it into a grab or an opportunity where the purple picking can be put into play here, there'll be big numbers for him and definitely a game over. Purple smash attack is absolutely going to kill right now. And he has got the blue. It's not going to kill quite yet, but oh. very, very soon. This could be it. Nice, only the back area. He can put him at the corner, though. Some important stuff for Elegant to make sure he's got Myron at the corner. And, and you see the way Elegant is prioritizing his hitboxes, right? As he saw the Pikmin toss at him, he made sure to kill the blue and the purple. Exactly. Those are the primary kill options that Myron has at his back. He's got to go ahead and toss out that back air. Forcing Myron off stage. Not going to be able to get the kill quite yet. Elegant's got to be a little bit careful here. The up smash, not it just yet. Again, making it back to the ledge. Low recovery, nice. Stalls out for Myron. What's for breakfast? Getting hit by just misfire. Oh hit. no! And the forward are in place to counter that. And Myron, or Mata's Myron, takes it right there, recognizing the misfire for what it is. Diving off immediately, getting a forwarder, just any single hitbox. Is that